Welcome to the Attraction Marketing Show. This is the podcast where you learn to use universal power, spiritual knowledge, combined with real marketing tactics, tools, and skills to create the life you deserve and not the one you desire and never fulfill. Learn to blend spirituality with real marketing skills to bring you real life results online and offline and increase your online presence. Hosted by Jock Brokus, author, marketing consultant, medium, and spiritual teacher. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to reveal to you a hidden secret, or not a hidden secret, but something that if you do not take this on board or you do not do this, you will never get success and you'll never achieve what it is you want to achieve, what you want to achieve. So listen in because we're coming right back and I'm going to reveal it right to you now. Hey guys, welcome. I am Jock and if you're new to this channel then please subscribe below and make sure to hit the notification bell and learn uh, marketing tips and insights from me. I'm a business coach and a marketing consultant. I have been involved in, in content marketing in the industry for many, many years and I've successfully built something out of nothing and you can too. So, what is this secret that I'm about to reveal? Well, let me first tell you a story. Uh, quite a while ago, a long time ago, before I even came here to uh, America with my wife, uh, actually before we came here on honeymoon, and we, we were both writing our very first books. And like everybody else, you have delusions of grandeur. You think you're going to write books and you're, you're, you're going to save the world and you're you're going to teach everybody all so many different things and people are going to pay you for that privilege and you're going to sell hundreds of thousands of books and you'll buy a house and settle down and isn't everything in the world absolutely rosy and then you find out reality check. It doesn't quite happen like that. But the dream is there and you know it, it doesn't matter how you perceive it, the, the, the dream is there. But you've got to hold on to that and I'm going to tell you why. We then went back to the UK after our honeymoon, re realizing that we couldn't really do what we wanted to do. And we were so desperate to come to America. We wanted to live in America. And we wanted to try and, and, and make our own mark. Now, when we went back home and we told people, we had a great deal of negativity. You know, you don't have family. You're not connected in any way. You can't get in, it's too hard. There are so many requirements. You know, you better just give up on that, you know, give up on that dream, get on with your life here, you know, make it work for you because it's just too hard. You just don't have it. But here's the thing. We didn't listen. We didn't listen. And yes, we didn't have what we needed to get in. We didn't have what we needed to, to make it there and then. But we knew in our hearts and in our souls that we, we had to be here. We knew that we, we, we would, there would be an opportunity that would be presented to us and we had to have the faith that it was coming. This is where my whole, if you like, my whole little belief or my, my whole perception or what I consider to be the recipe for success that I teach many, many people is perceive, believe, conceive. Remember those three words. They're very, very, very important. So what happened? Well, obviously, I'm talking to you from my, my home in North Carolina. I'm talking to you from my office. And we're here. But if we had listened, if we had listened to all the naysayers, if we had actually taken on board what they said and built those barriers and those walls up, we wouldn't be here. We would take what other people thought or what other people's perceptions were and we wouldn't hold fast onto our dream. We wouldn't hold fast onto the reality of what we could manifest by developing our spiritual power and developing our belief in a higher power. That relationship as well as utilizing the skills that, that, that we had to offer the world. And to cut a very long story short, we got here. We didn't have the connections to get in. We didn't have anything. But then, 
It was funny, I received a call and I was offered a particular role to write a book and the amount, the, the amount of money that I was offered for that book was the exact same amount of money that I needed for a lawyer to try and get us in there, to get us here. And where there's a will, there's a way. Where there's a path, there's always another path that leads to it. And where the bridges are down, there's always another way across. The, nothing is impossible when you develop your inner spiritual belief, your inner spiritual power, your belief in a higher power to help you through everything in life. What seems impossible in the material world is often so possible in the spiritual world. Because miracles, to me, miracles are just God's love in action. Miracles are really a perception of man. Miracles, we believe it's something that's that's personified outside of us as something paranormal. And in actual fact, it's just God's love in action. It's spiritual law in perfect operation. And that comes down to business. That comes down to marketing. And that comes down to transforming your life from you know where you are now to what you want to be or how you visualize yourself for the future. So what is this secret that I'm talking about? This secret is belief in yourself. It's believe, perceive, believe, conceive. It is belief. But it's not about it's not about just believing in yourself. It's also about believing in a higher power. It's believing in who you are in relation to that. It's believing that you have a divine power within you that can achieve anything. Anything that you put your mind, your body and your soul to is the recipe for success. First you must perceive, then you must believe, and then you will conceive. So the secret of anything is believe, but how do you actually believe? How do you believe in yourself if you've actually lost that belief? Well, that's what we're going to get right into. And I'm going to teach you a little, just a little thing to remember that's going to help you to believe in yourself more and to develop that relationship with a higher power. And if you remember this word march, we're going to come right back and I'm going to tell you exactly what it means and how you can actually put it into practice. So guys, do you want to take your business to the next level and get more out of your life? Let's face it, you deserve it. Maybe you don't know anything about online marketing or the tools used, find it too difficult or overwhelming, and you don't have the money to hire expensive consultants or worse yet, SEO marketing companies that think more about themselves than your business. Are you searching for success and happiness? Well, it's right here and already yours. Join us on the Attraction Marketing Online course and learn how to blend real marketing skills and your inner power to drive you to success. Get over the shoulder lessons and knowledge and take back your marketing power. Email us at jbspiritmedia at gmail.com. Welcome back. And remember I gave you that name just before, March. What does it mean? Well, first of all, before I go right into March, yes, it's a month. Yes, it's what soldiers do eh, or <laughs> what bands people do. But March is so much more important. This is a little mnemonic that I came up that I teach students. And the reality of it is, is that you are trying to develop your relationship with a higher power to be able to harness the divine power within you and to manifest that in the material world. And how does that, how, how does that help you? Well, it doesn't matter whether you're starting a business. It doesn't matter whether you're in the middle of the business and you're trying to change it or you're trying to be more dynamic in your business or you're trying to find your place in the world or your place in, in, in life, in service. The reality is, is that we can't do it without understanding the, the, the power that we have within us. Some of the greatest inventions in the world have come through in, intuition or have come through from a divine power, a, a higher divine authority. Some of the greatest musical pieces in art have been through that creativity. So there is a place within our marketing, there is a place within our endeavours towards success 
to blend the spiritual with the material and to bring it all into reality within that one that one force like that 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 one aspect in in your life and then when you recognize that divine power you can blend the skills that you have and and also that authority that you have the divine authority you have and you can achieve anything anything you put your mind to but here's the other thing i want to i want to put across let's say for instance you're in a you're in a, a, a pilot school okay i don't know what the pilot schools of course so anybody who knows what a pilot school's called let me know but i think you know i I think it's just a pilot school. Anyway, imagine you're in a pilot school and you're you're the best qualified. You, I mean, you've got qualifications coming out your ears. You know how to fly a plane. You've passed all the theory. You know all the books. You have the badges, for God's sake. You have the wings. But when you sit in that cockpit, if you don't believe you can fly the plane, it'll never take off. It doesn't matter how much theory and knowledge you have. It doesn't matter how much badges you have. Nothing will activate within you. Nothing will break through barriers that hold you back unless you harness the divine power that's in you. You harness the you that is you. And you understand that you are a spiritual being. And some of you might scoff at this. But go back and read some of the spiritual classics that are actually about marketing. Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. The Greatest Salesman in the World by O.G. Mandingo. The Bible, for goodness sake. It's got more sales tactics in it than anything. So think about it. The, uh, the relationship between spirituality and material success is, is not separate. So what do you do if you can't believe in yourself, if you've lost the belief, if you've lost a little bit of your faith, if you've lost the direction that you're in, if you think you can't achieve it because one, you know, it, it, it's so competitive out there. Everybody's doing it. Where's my place in it? It doesn't matter. Stop looking at the competition. Stop thinking about how competitive something is. Because there is always a hole to be filled. There is always a need that you can fulfill and there's always a service that you can give humanity. And that's what I want you to think about. But what I want to give you is this. I'm going to explain to you now what March means. And hopefully March is a word that you will never ever forget. Because March will be the recipe for your success. Remember I gave you three words at the beginning. Perceive, believe, conceive. And that's my little mnemonic. I teach everyone that. I've been teaching it for years and years and years. But I also teach March. And I want you to understand what March means. March. M. Meditation. Believe it or not. Meditation is going to be one of the first things that you need to learn. Or that you need to try and do. To be able to build your relationship back up. And that does not necessarily mean sitting on a chair or sitting on the floor with your, yourself in the lotus position, uh, chanting a mantra. Meditation is in so many different ways. You can meditate when you're walking. You can meditate in the shower, in the bath. You can meditate. You just do it in small increments, small steps, small things. Now, I'm not going to teach meditation in this this. Uh, this video, I, I do that in, in other aspects, and there's some great meditation teachers out there. But meditation is one aspect that is going to bring your relationship. Prayer is a form of meditation. You don't have to be religious to pray. You don't have to be religious to enjoy meditation. The benefits are tremendous, but meditation is one of the first aspects that's going to help you to uh, become more aware of your own divine power and to be able to bring that belief back that you perhaps have lost a little bit. And the second one, the second uh, aspect of that is affirmation. Affirmation is basically you retraining your subconscious mind, getting rid of all the false perceptions and beliefs that others have forced upon you. It is breaking through the negative chatter that's in your mind about you and changing, transforming the negative chatter into positivity that activates within the subconscious and helps to change that pattern from negative to positivity. And you know the old saying, like attracts like. Positivity attracts positive things. Negative attracts negative things. 
There's a caveat in that though. So that's your second thing. You have meditation, you have affirmation. And you can ask, you know, you can put down below in the comments, what's your favourite affirmation that you say? Or if you don't understand it, then ask and I, I, I'll let you know more and even write out some different affirmations, success affirmations. There's so many books out there about affirmation, but for me, affirmation is just talking to a higher power. Affirmation is, is, is basically retraining the, the negative patterns that are in your mind. If your mind's saying, oh, I'm not, I'm not worthy, oh, I, I'm not good enough to do this, then you want to be saying time and time and time again, I am worthy, I have divine authority, I have divine power. Greatness is within me. The seed of greatness is already planted. I've just got to nurture it. I've got to plant. I've got to actually nurture that seed with positivity and love and compassion, and then I can grow beautiful flowers, who then you know may turn into beautiful trees, who then turn into beautiful forests. And at the end of the day, you're basically training that that thought pattern. You're changing that thought pattern from negativity to positivity by utilising the combination of mind, body and soul and action, awareness and action. Okay, so you have that awareness and action. That awareness and action is, is a catalyst for change. So the next thing is we have meditation, we have affirmation, but one of the most powerful things is recognition. That's your R, recognition. Why recognition? is recognising the divine relationship that you have between you and a higher power, is recognising the divine authority you have within you, and is recognising that you are great, you are already great, that you already have something to give the world. There was an old, you know, an old spirit guide, and the, the, one of the sayings that I love is, the greatest gift that you can give humanity is the gift of service. Everybody has a gift to give. Everybody has the seed of success already sown within them. You just have to recognise who you are in that place. You have to recognise the divine power that you have within you. And on these, the, those three steps, your meditation, your affirmation, your recognition of your divine power, you're already halfway there to the, your, your belief. You, you're so powerful that you'll be able to manifest things. It doesn't necessarily mean you're going to manifest it immediately. But when you put all these things into action, the universe responds it responds according to spiritual law, and spiritual law is perfect in its operation. So no matter if you are a marketing coach, no matter if you are a, a, a spiritual teacher, or you're an accountant, or you're a lawyer, spirituality goes hand in hand with your success. You can't get there without, without some aspect of it working in your life. You know, spirit is the animating force of all, all that exists. So recognising who you are in that place, in that thing, helps you to really begin that journey positively and to understand it. Okay, so the next thing is communication. Communication, and I'm not talking about communication between you and someone else. Yes, that has an aspect in your marketing business. Yes, that has an aspect in whatever you do, whether it's coaching or, or whether you're a musician or whatever it is, there's a, an aspect of communication. But communication between yourself and a higher power. Communication between uh, you, and, and you can call it prayer. You, you can pray or, or you can just chat to a higher power. Or you can recognise, you can communicate within yourself, to yourself. And, you know, talk yourself through things. Communicate with, you know, recognise, be mindful of, of the miracles in life. Be mindful that you're given a miracle to live each day, 24 hours, and it's up to you how you live it. Be mindful of the beauty of the world outside you. Even in the darkness of the night, how stunning it is. Or in the rain that, that so many people complain about, how beautiful and wondrous it is. Or the sunshine that people really, really yearn to have, but then moan about it when it arrives because it's too hot. Communicating your thoughts, communicating your feelings, communicating between you and a higher power, it strengthens that connection. By all these aspects working hand in hand with each part, with each aspect of your life, the power for change is tremendous. You already have that seed of greatness in you. As I say, you're your own gardener. It's up to you what you tend it with. 
And the last thing in, in, that I want to say in, in, in this aspect, and this is the H, this is the, that, that makes the whole world march, is help yourself. Because no one's going to do it for you. You cannot achieve anything unless you make the decision. There's a saying that, a, that a, you know, a journey of a thousand miles starts with the first step. It's wrong. Well, I'm not going to say it's wrong. There's another way to think about it. The journey of a thousand miles starts with an awareness and the decision to take the first step. Without you making the decision, without you actually doing it and helping yourself, you will not blend it all together and you will not start that journey. You will not be on that path towards success and greatness that's within you. Because you have to make the decision, no one can do it for you. I, I can go down, there, there could be a, a tramp on the street, I could go down, give them money and give them a job. But if they don't decide to utilise the tools that I, give, that I give them to make them, you know, then it's for nothing. You've been given tools, if you don't utilise those tools, they just sit and they gather dust. You have to make the decision. But in order to make the decision, you have to have an awareness of it. So if you want to be successful, you have an awareness, you have a, a desire. And God will always give you what you need, not necessarily what you want. But you have divine power within you. You have the desire to be successful. And you can. You can attract everything that you want to attract to you, if it's within divine will. And all it takes is you to recognise who you are and to believe in yourself. The very simple aspect of this is perceive, believe, conceive. It, I can't make it any simpler. Those are the three words that I teach all my students. Those are the three words that I say, that'll change your life. Perceive, believe, conceive. But in order to get belief in yourself, you have to march. If you don't march, you won't get there. It's as simple as that, guys. So march. Meditation. Affirmation. Recognition. Communication. And help yourself. If you march, then the rest is easy. So, what are you waiting for? Get out there and march, guys. Because success is already yours. And that is the secret to anything in life. Is you. You are the secret. The rest is just marching. God bless. You've been listening to Attraction Marketing. Join us again on another episode. Send in your questions and get involved. Don't forget to perceive, believe, conceive.